In a previous video, you all saw how the derivative of sine was cosine, and the derivative of cosine is negative sine. And in this video, we're going to use those two facts to find the derivative of tangent, cotangent, secant, and cosecant. Let's start first with the derivative of tangent. All right, so like we've been doing in previous things, when we don't know the derivative of something, we try to see if we can write it in terms of something that we do know the derivative of. And since we know tangent is equal to sine over cosine, I can rewrite this as the derivative of sine x over cosine x, and then apply the quotient rule to this. So that's equal to the derivative of the top, which is cosine, times the bottom, minus the top, times the derivative of the bottom, which is a minus sine of x. And all of that is over the bottom squared. So if I simplify the top, I get cosine squared of x plus sine squared of x all over cosine squared of x. I recognize this as the Pythagorean identity. That simplifies to 1. So 1 over cosine squared of x, which actually is equal to secant squared of x. So the derivative of tangent of x is secant squared of x. Easy peasy. All right, let's now do the same thing to find the derivative of cotangent of x. Well, cotangent can be written as cosine over sine. So we apply the chain, I'm sorry, the quotient rule again to this function. So this is equal to the derivative of the top, which is minus sine times the bottom, minus the top times the derivative of the bottom, all over the bottom squared. Now, I want to simplify the top like I did before, and I'm first going to factor out that minus and then rewrite this as sine squared and cosine squared. So this is equal to the minus of sine squared x plus cosine squared x. See, if I distribute that minus, these both become minus, all over sine squared x. Again, I see this equals 1, so this is minus 1 over sine squared x. And that simplifies to minus cosecant squared of x. So the derivative of cotangent of x is equal to the negative of cosecant squared of x. All right, two down, two to go. Let's now look at the derivative of secant of x. Well, we know that secant of x is really equal to 1 over cosine of x. Well, I can either move this to the top and apply the chain rule to it, or I can apply the quotient rule to this. Let's see what happens if I apply the quotient rule. The derivative of the top is 0, minus the top times the derivative of the bottom, so plus sine of x all over the bottom squared. So really, sine of x over cosine squared of x. Now that is certainly the derivative of secant of x, but that's not usually the form you're going to see it. You're usually going to see it like this. I can split this cosine up into cosine times cosine. So 1 over cosine of x times sine of x over cosine of x. Right? This is equivalent because the top becomes sine, the bottom becomes cosine squared. This cosine x is really secant of x, and this sine over cosine is tangent of x. So the derivative of secant of x is equal to secant x tan x. All right, last one. Does anybody think they have an idea? of what it's going to be based on what we've done in the previous three. Well, we know this is equal to the derivative of 1 over sine of x. This time, let's rewrite this as 
cosine of x to the negative 1. You could do the quotient rule like we did on the one before, but let's uh, instead use the chain rule. So this equals negative sine of x to the negative 2 power times the derivative of sine, which is cosine. So if I clean this up a little bit, I get negative cosine of x over sine squared of x, right? That negative 2 power just means I can move it down to the bottom and make it positive. I can split this one up into 2, so it's negative 1 over sine of x times cosine of x over sine of x. So this simplifies to minus cosecant of x times cotangent of x. So the derivative of cosecant of x is equal to minus cosecant of x cotangent of x. Now if I were to write these all down on one sheet to summarize and remember from hence fourth, you would have, so d dx tan x is secant squared of x, d dx cotan x is negative cosecant squared of x, d dx of secant x is secant x tan x d dx of cosecant of x is negative cosecant of x cotangent of x. So you may ask, do I need to memorize these? Well, you either need to know them or you need to be able to get there by the methods that we just showed. Now go practice.